Salute, salute. Salute, triple salute from Nocturnal Thoughts. What it is, what it do, what's happening, man. Real quick video, then I'm gonna get out of the way. So, and I'm at work, you know what I'm saying? Friday, payday, and um, the grind never stops, but you know, I'm about to punch on out for the rest of the day and uh, get, get about my weekend. And I was just thinking, real quick, man, uh, trying to get back into some boxing conversations, and uh, really ain't a whole lot to talk about from my perspective. You know, Canelo versus Belanga, eh, that's a decent little squabble. I think Canelo gonna knock him out. But uh, what's really irritating me right now is the Brian Norman Jr. situation and, and, the, and the Jerron Boots in the situation. And it's mainly Brian Norman's father who's irritating me. First of all, um, you know, I do take it a little personal when he's talking about people that's making 70000 and 90000 dollars a year 90,000 you know a year need to stay out of our business and this that and the other you see I'm at work you see I ain't trying to be glitz and glamour and flashy I'm dirty I'm filthy I stink you know what I'm saying I sweat been working all day boxing has always been a blue collar sport it's about coming from the gutter coming from the bottom you know what I'm saying it's about that so for you to diss people that support the sport because they're not making millions of dollars, to me, that's already uh, a red flag to hear you say something out your mouth about how people broke and people ain't got enough money to talk about my business financially. And to a certain extent, I understand that because we're not sitting behind the closed doors because business is better handled behind closed doors. So I don't understand why I keep seeing his face all over these YouTube channels talking. You know, I, I respect fathers who support their sons, especially in a, a dangerous sport like boxing. Bill Haney, Teofimo Lopez, Mayweathers, you know what I'm saying? Garcia's, Canelo, Lomachenko, Papachenko. Not Canelo, but Canelo, uh, Eddie Reynoso. Eddie Reynoso, fathers, was a trainer. My thing is this. I respect the fathers that support their sons and can rock with their sons and in, in, in behind the sport of boxing. That's cool. But I am getting a little tired of seeing when you get uh, uh, your, 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 your son start getting a little bit of, of recognition in the sport of boxing. You turning down a fight with Jerron Boots in this. But now I see you on, on all kind of interviews and videos just talking. Talking about what happened in sparring and talking of calling this person this and calling this person that and down down in this person and you know what I'm saying, you know, talking about how you stand no business on this and you over here doing this and but it's just now you gonna talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. As if okay, maybe maybe us guys that's making seventy and eighty and ninety thousand a year, maybe us guys aren't making the type of money that you and your son making but don't talk i don't want to hear you talk i don't want to hear a person like brian norman senior talk like he just a billionaire you know what i'm saying even if you was a billionaire i don't i don't need i don't care it to me no i'm not into the sport because of who make the most money it's great to see these guys become successful and make money but more money more problems more fame more problems you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, your son is a fighter. And when he look in the mirror, what's going to be most important to him is him being the best person he could possibly be. And sometimes you got to have somebody that rivals you, that is almost your equal for you to conquer them, for you to really understand that you to, you are what you say you are. When you look at yourself in the mirror and you say, yeah, I, put all this I put all this dedication, I put all this discipline to my craft. I put all this training into my sport. I know who I am. I know what I am. But you got to prove it to yourself. You ain't got to prove it to the world. You ain't got to prove it to no bank account. But you got to prove it to yourself. And to prove it to yourself, you can't fight yourself. You got to fight that equal opposition that's that's just as dedicated as you and just as focused as you and young as you and a, a, a athletic as you and trained as you and hungry as you. And y'all got to go heads up. And y'all got to fight. And then the best man to win. The cream will rise to the top. All the money stuff to me should be able to be negotiated and figured out. But to turn down a fight 
and say you're not getting paid enough. But then I got to see you all over YouTube's looking broke as me, looking just as broke as me. Talking about what you did in sparring, what your son did in sparring. That shit is irritating. That's all I'm saying. Those are my thoughts. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. I hope that they do get the fight happening. But I hope anybody that's in the way, that's putting barriers in the way, that's putting the, I hope I hope everything just get out the way and let these young dudes, the young dudes, the young dudes that's actually training and blood, sweat, and tears, not the pops, not the fathers. We, you know, when we you, when you become a father, you gotta let your son go do his thing. And you gotta get out the way. You can talk to him and guide him and give him the best advice. But you got to get out of the way. And sometimes you got to let them get, make them make mistakes. But when your son become a man, get the fuck out of the way. And if your son is famous, let him be famous. If you ain't famous and your son famous, get the fuck out of the way and fall back. You had your chance to be famous. You didn't do it. You had a son. Your son is famous. Just be cool with that and get out of the way and let him do his thing. And that's for all the fathers. For any sport or for any entertainment. When your son is a man and he become at the top of doing what he do. Get out the way and stay out of his light and stay out of his out of his limelight and trying to get your recognition and trying to poach off a few little fans in here and there or whatever the fuck these fathers do that's vicariously living through their sons. Get the fuck out the way and let your sons be a man. And 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 if, when I'm talking about boxing, I'm talking about boots. I'm talking about Jerome Boots versus uh, Brian Norman. These two dudes is young. They at, they at like at, at a pivotal moment where they could be in a prime. They should want to fight each other for free. They didn't spar together, of course. But underneath the bright lights where it really matters, when the whole world is watching, and you is going to rake in a big bag, these dudes really should want to fight each other three fucking times. They should have a trilogy. They, should, they could fight four times if they put on a good show. If it's a close fight, if one edge out, if one get knocked out, if it's a close... We seen Roy Jones Jr. fight Bernard Hopkins before we knew who they was. And I parrot that even though I was going to say that in one of my other videos. I heard, I think Blood Boxing said it first. <laughs> but we, we seen fighters fight before they had big, big names. And then they can get big names and still fight again in the future. But when you just hold up a fight because of money, the shit look funny. Especially when it looked like you just want the attention on YouTube. Don't make no sense to me. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below, man. This is Nocturne Thoughts. Y'all have a blessed weekend. Salute. Signing out.